Welcome fellow crypto addicts to now the fifth uh, project analysis uh, I do on the upcoming Polkadot Parachain slot auctions. This time we are uh, looking at the project of Moonbeam and we will find out if Moonbeam Beam will go as crazy on the rewards as its sister token Moon River. But before we do that, let me quickly point out to you that this video is not financial advice and that you should always do your own research before investing into anything. And now let's switch to the Excel model. So um, today we're looking at Moonbeam and as I already told you, the sister token is Moon River and Moon River really went crazy on the rewards with its Kusama parachain slot auction. So if I recall it correctly, you will you will, if you contributed to Moon River on Kusama, you would have received 14 um, mover token for one Kusama contributed, and this at current prices is around the $5,000 mark. So you got out $5,000 um, for contributing, for locking um, uh, about $400 of Kusama, which is really a crazy, crazy reward ratio as you will in the end receive um, your Kusama token back. So on Kusama, Moonbeam went crazy with the rewards. Let's see how it will be for their Polkadot um, crowd loan. But first let's um, talk about what does the project of Moonbeam and Moon River do? Well, they're an Ethereum on-ramp. So that means you can um, quickly build applications that um, work with users and assets on remote chains. And you can also employ Ethereum smart contracts on Moonbeam. And basically what Moonbeam or Moon River do, they connect the Polkadot ecosystem to um, all or to many Ethereum applications. And this is a very, very strong use case possibly one of the strongest um, use cases um, of the tokens that we have looked at so far. And you can see how um, important their um, project is just by how crazy the mover token went after its token generation event. So from the value proposal, I'm really, really bullish on Moonbeam. Um, let's look at the grants. They received two grants, that's fine. And they have 15 um, institutional investors backing them. So now coming to the Phenomics, um, if you um, lock your dots for Moonbeam, you will receive the Glimmer token and the Glimmer token has a maximum supply of 1 billion token with an inflation rate of around 5%. And the allocation um, uh, schedule is as following. Um, they're only um, giving out 10% of their supply to the contributors in this uh, Polkadot parachain slot auction. And this is the lowest um, percentage share we have seen so far. Um, in With the Moon River project, they gave out about 30% of the supply, which was at that time the highest percentage share. So now you see they went from giving out the most <laughs> amount in percentage terms and to giving out the, the least amount in percentage terms. Um, but why are they doing that? Well, obviously, because they saw that Moon River performed so well that they don't need to give out a um, crazy amount of rewards for people to contribute to them. Um, yes, the team has 15% um, of that uh, maximum supply allocation, which is perfectly fine. And investors have received 42%. And it's to note here that um, Moonbeam has um, had a pre-sale for its community. So everyone who was contributing on Moon River was able to buy the Glimmer tokens. Um, um, yeah, I think it was a few weeks ago. Um, and that means, and, and for those who bought the, uh, the tokens in the community sale, it is to note that they do not have a vesting schedule. So everyone participating in this, com or who has participated in this community sale, where I think they sold around eight to 10% of their um, supply and all of those tokens, they will be unlocked at the token generation event and, then ca and they can be sold immediately. So this possibly leads to a very high selling pressure at the time of tro token generation event. Please keep that in mind. Um, when you invest into Moonbeam. 
Um, they have reserved 8% for liquidity programs, which is quite low, but we see that they have reserved 26% um, for research and development. So all in all, the amount of tokens they reserve for um, for um, improving their the chain, the project, or using for marketing is um, quite all right. So all in all, the allocation for Moonbeam is fine. Um, personally, I have would have wished for a little bit more rewards than 10% because this is really quite less, but I think you can still expect to get out some good rewards if certain conditions are met. And later I will tell you a strategy on how you can possibly get the best rewards out of Moonbeam. All right. Um, but let's uh, check what can you expect. So the minimum allocation per dot is one Glimmer token. And the expected allocation um, per dot, and this is where it gets interesting because this can vary a lot. And this is um, where you have to calculate for your own. And I tell you how you do that. So currently I am expecting about 2.8 Glimmer tokens. But if we look at the expected reward distribution, how we calculate that, we check at Moonbeam. So their hard, hard cap is actually at 1 million dot. That would be 5 billion US dollars. That would be 10% of the market cap of dot and 27% of the supply available for the auction. That's a lot. And that's why I think Moonbeam will not, definitely not reach its, its hard cap. And that's why the minimum reward will, you will, at least get more than one glimmer. I think that is for sure. Um, but if we are checking back here, um, if we check the sister project, well, Moon River actually only, and I say only here uh, very carefully, 90, um, about 90 million US dollars. That was 20% of their hard cap. And as of today, that would be around 1.5% of the dots um, available for the auction. They will definitely do more than that. And um, here's where it gets interesting because the rewards heavily depend on how much um, dots they raise. And I will show you this here. So for now, I inputted here a factor of 20 so that they all in all will um, raise 1.7 billion. Because I thought, okay, it would make sense as their um, project performed so well and they have a lot of followers on Twitter and on their socials and they got a big crowd behind them that a lot of people will be backing them possibly in hope that they will get as many rewards as um, for the moon uh, uh, river or was it moonbeam uh, for the yeah no for the moon river token yes um, and if they um, so that's why I expect them to or I analyzed um, that they will reach about 1.7, uh, they will raise about 1.7 billion dollars, and that would mean they meet their hard cap by 36%, and all in all, they will um, raise um, 35 million dots. But what happens if they only, and I say only again with <laughs> exclamation marks, only um, raise 18% of their hard cap? So in that case, the rewards here would go up considerably and you would get um, about $60 out of your investment into Moonbeam. And um, this is uh, double than what you will get if they well reach 36% of their hard cap because then you will only get around $30 of rewards. So what can you do here? Let me tell you. Because the interesting thing, um, Moonbeam does not give any special uh, rewards or failure compensation out. But uh, the, the thing is, they don't give out any special rewards. So you will not get 10% extra for contributing early or for doing whatever. Um, and in that case, um, you can contribute at the very last second, so to say. And then you can pretty accurately calculate how much rewards you will get out. So let's say um, Moonbeam will, I think they will not, um, Win the f win in the first auction, but let's say they will probably win in the second auction. I mean, you can check that. You can check um, at what uh, place they are, if are if they are the projects with the most, um, with the highest percentage share, and if they will probably win the auction. So you can, with let's say 90% um, confident con confidence, you can say mm, if they win in these auctions, maybe five days or two days before the auction ends, and 
what I would encourage you to do is check when Moonbeam will probably win an auction and then check how much dots are contributed. Because let's um, look at the scenario here. Let's say, okay, we're at auction two and uh, Moonbeam is um, leading and they have um, currently, let's say they have uh, about 20 raise 27 percent of their hard cap and there are only two days remaining till the auction ends so and you can calculate how many dots or you can actually um, find out this information on the polka.js uh, web wallet um, you can um, find out how many dots were contributed and then you divide the all the dots contributed by the reward um, distribution and you will get the rewards per dot and if and it's and if it's only if it's um, at the very end of the auction where they will probably win, you can with a high confidentiality, um, with a high confidence, sorry, can calculate how or you can read how many dots they have received, and then you can calculate the re rewards almost uh, very precise. So again, it's like two days before the auction ends. Um, Moonbeam is um, leading, and that's. How many dots they have raised that's the dollar amount of the, what they have raised and then you can check the model again then you see you will get about 3.7 glimmer tokens no special incentives whatsoever and this will amount to about 40 dollars but then again if it's uh, if the auction ends and they have reached um, about 36 percent of the hard cap what can you expect then well then you can only expect um, 30 dollars in rewards and this is what i encourage you to do please um, check when Moon River is um, at which auction they will probably win and then check how many dots are contributed, divide that by the rewards they're giving out and find out how many Glimmer tokens you will actually get. And um, I think this is the best strategy as they do not encourage you to contribute early. So you will have no opportunity cost for waiting till the end. Um, and yeah, I think that's um, how you could and should do it. Okay, continuing, um, well, the expected market cap is uh, quite high um, because actually the market cap of um, uh, Moon River is almost at 1 billion. Moon, Moonbeam will be a bit bigger, so I evaluated at about 2.7 billion. Could be a bit more, could be a bit less, um, whatever. Um, the expected circulating supply, you can see here, I, um, it was 20, so for Moon River, it's uh, currently 22%, so I will I was taking the same number for Moonbeam as I expected to uh, perform quite similarly. Um, if we look at the reward ratios, uh, we can see that they are actually quite low. Well, obviously, because they're only giving out 10% as parachain rewards. So, but now let's come to the price expectation. What's the lowest price expectation um, possible? And I would say that is about five dollars. So the lowest. I don't think that Moonbeam will be less valuable than Moon River. And the Moon River, Moon River um, has only, mm, I think it's uh, ten million tokens, whatever. At least Moon River is uh, currently trading at around four hundred, uh, four hundred dollars, uh, three hundred eighty around that range. If you um, um, calculate if if you um, if you uh, do the analogy to Moonbeam, this would the, of the Moon River token. That means that um, currently, if one uh, Moonbeam is worth five dollars and Moonbeam is uh, worth the same as Moon River, that means that one Moon River um, will be worth five hundred dollars, and if one Moon River is worth um, three hundred eighty dollars, that means that Moonbeam, if it would be the same, same would be um, then the three dollars eighty because the supply of Moonbeam is um, bigger than the one of Moon River. So I expect the lowest price expectation will actually be the Moon River price um, adjusted to the supply, um, but possibly or probably Moonbeam will be more important and therefore there will be more demand for Moonbeam and therefore the price of Moonbeam should be higher than the one of Moon River for the sub adjusted to the same supply. Um, I, um, I am expecting the Moon the Glimmer token um, to
to be worth around $12 and to be worth at the maximum at around $15. If we check there, if we check that with the market market cap, so with the lowest price expectation, it would have a market cap of 1.1 billion. This would just be slightly bigger than Moon River, who would rank them place 100 in the all coins uh, ranked by market cap. Um, this is very much possible, and they will probably um, have a higher market cap than 1.1 billion, and higher market cap than a little bit more than Moon River. Um, with the highest price expectation, they will have a market cap of around 3.3 uh, billion. This will rank them at uh, spot number 50 of coins ranked by market cap. And um, I think that could be possible, it's possibly a bit high of the market cap, but still very much possible. And again, um, you have to remember that at the time you will get the Glimmer tokens, it will be maybe half a year in the future, and the overall cryptocurrency market cap will also probably be, the, be a bit higher. So with a, a project with $3.3 billion of market cap will not be at spot number 50, but they will rather be a bit lower. So all in all, I think that these price expectations are um, quite feasible uh, for the Glimmer token, as the lowest price expectation is um, is derived from the Moon River price, and the highest price expectation is um, well, it's just a personal um, assessment of uh, Moonbeam. Um, all in all, uh, let's just quickly look at the social sentiment uh, before we conclude. So they have a lot of Twitter followers, which is probably because of the Moon River um, rewards that they gave out. So they were in the news everywhere. Uh, everyone knew about the project as uh, you really made a lot of money with that. Um, so obviously they have the highest number of Twitter followers, but they're also they are, um, a good project with strong value proposal. So um, that's fair that they have that many Twitter followers. Their GitHub acti activity is as for all the projects, 199. And they have 35,000 Telegram users. So all in all, they have the biggest um, community behind them. Well, so why did I only rate them 8 of 10? That's because um, I've already seen a lot of um, bad feelings in the community because they're only allocating 10% of their supply to the community and everyone was expecting it to be more than that. And honestly, I have to say it's a bit low, but it is fine. As uh, you can see, if they don't raise um, that many tokens, then you will still get a lot of rewards here. And let's look at the best case scenario. Maybe they will only reach about 18% of their supply. Um, in that case, you would actually get um, sixty um, dollars on of one dot contributed. So I think that is uh, quite good. But please, um, before you enter Moon River, check at how how many dots are already contributed and calculate um, your rewards before you enter and enter at possibly the last second. Uh, this will um, well just give you the most uh, the best uh, the most confidential confidentiality for uh, your reward rewards so all in all um, what rewards can you expect well as I said before um, you should calculate that um, after you when you think they will win at the auction badge probably I think at auction two or three they will win calculate how many dots are contributed and then check the rewards. So I will not tell you here that you will get $40 of reward, rewards or 50 or only 30 because um, you can pretty easily calculate that before you contribute. So at the reward, rewards uh, then can be in the range from 30 to I think 50, 60 dollars. So, but if you want to contribute to Moonbeam, you can get an additional 5% rewards if you contribute via Parallel Finance, and you'll get another additional 5% on their Para rewards. So if you do that, um, uh, feel free to use my uh, referral, uh, referral link in the description below. And also, please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video so that you will not miss out on my next videos. And till then, I wish you good luck with the auctions and see you next time.